is this ministry, Born That Way Ministries. Just by the name, you can tell there's something wrong with this ministry. Okay, Born That Way Ministry. The book that it centers around is called Born That Way After All. And it talks about how the sodomites, it, it makes them into a victim. And all over this Born That Way website, there are all kinds of articles telling us how we need to love the sodomite and how we should never even call them a sodomite. I'm using the word sodomite. They call them gay and things like that on the article. There's a whole article on there saying that it's wrong to call them sodomites. And they said, well, what if the, but you'll say the Bible said sodomite. And here's what they say on this Born That Way Ministries. They said, well, even though the Bible calls them sodomites, we shouldn't because it's offensive and it's not edifying. And then they say, well, I know Jesus called people serpents and vipers, but it's okay for him to do it, but it's not okay for us to do it. I thought he left us an example that we should follow in his steps. Yeah. Right? But, but we're supposed to be better than Jesus. Because Jesus was mean and a jerk and rude, according to them. We need to be better than Jesus. We need to be softer and nicer because he was just too mean. I mean, sure, he called people serpents and vipers, but he also walked on water. Are you going to walk on water? Hmm? <laughs> and they said, I I'm, I'm paraphrasing the article. And then they said, well, Jesus never commanded us to, to walk on water, and he never commanded us to preach like that. Actually, he did. He said, preach the word, rebuke. Right, right. What do you think rebuke is? It's to sternly tell someone that they're wrong. The Bible says, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Hard preaching in the Old Testament, hard preaching in the New Testament. It's always been God's style of preaching. Amen. Rough preaching, hard preaching is biblical. Amen. Smooth preaching is for false prophets. That's what the Bible teaches. Right. Every real preacher is a little rough, a little hairy, a little bit harsh. That's what biblical preaching is supposed to be like. Amen. But this ministry to, oh, don't call them sodomites. You know, I mean, look, God forbid you'd actually call him a fag or a queer, but they're saying, don't even call him a sodomite. Don't even call him. And, 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 and don't have this us against them mentality. <laughs> Embrace them. Bring them in. Okay, this ministry is just constantly, it's quoting Gandhi. It's quoting Martin Luther King Jr. I mean, it's just, th this is the quote on their website. Eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Quote from Gandhi and Marxist Lucifer King. Okay. A quote that is basically ridiculing the law of God, which said eye for an eye, okay? Ridiculing God's law and saying, oh, that's going to make the whole world. No, it won't, idiot, because they did it back in the days of Moses, and it did not make the whole world blind, fool. Yeah. Quit blaspheming the law of God. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting Amen. the soul. Amen. But this, this queer-loving, pandering ministry that's, oh, they're born that way. After all, they're born that way. Oh, they're poor, poor little sodomite victim. It's all based around this bizarre doctrine. Again, I'm not going to re-preach my sermon from Wednesday night, but a bizarre doctrine that says that, that, oh, these people that are out being with a bunch of other men, men who are out fornicating with other men, women who are fornicating with other women, which the Bible calls vile and filthy, they're actually just, they were born that way because they were born to be eunuchs and they're just confused. He claims they're born with no desire and they're just confused. Well, newsflash, if they're born with no desire, they'd be doing nothing. They wouldn't be with another dude. No man just accidentally ends up with another dude because he had no desire. That's stupidity. That's foolishness. The Bible says the thought of foolishness is sin. How much more when you speak that kind of foolishness? They're trying to convince us that homos are actually eunuchs. I mean, what will they think of next? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to get my sermon from Wednesday night on Jeremiah 39. But you're going to have to look at a different YouTube channel. I, it was too hot for my main channel because I don't want to get banned. But listen, the supporting ministry, they, if you go to their Born That Way .org, they're supporting ministries. Who supports them? This is what it says on the top of the page. The pastors and organizations listed below are friends who understand the truth. Talking about the truth that they're teaching, that sodomites are really just poor little confused eunuchs. 
The past and organizations listed below are friends who understand the truth and provide a safe place for those seeking answers. By the way, those seeking answers are pedophiles and sodomites. Right. Who they're painting as victims, whereas the Bible paints them as wicked, brute beasts, haters of God, full of murder, debate, deceit, malignity. Read Romans 1. Here are some of the names on the list. Dr. Bob Gray from Longview, Texas. He's a leader of the Independent Fundamental Baptist Movement. There are hundreds of pastors, hundreds of Independent Baptist pastors who look up to Dr. Bob Gray Sr. as a leader of the Fundamental Baptist Movement. This is what he's supporting, Born That Way Ministries. Baby boomer for you, the mentality. Dr. Jeff Owens. Again, another big name in fundamentalism that people look to as a leader of the Fundamental Baptist Movement, Dr. Jeff Owens. S.M. Davis is another well-known guy that's on here. Uh, another one that I, I haven't heard of a lot of these, um, these uh, queer baits that are listed here. But this guy, Pastor Kenny Baldwin, I've heard of him. I think he goes and preaches in the Sword of the Lord conferences all the time. He's on the list. You know, you can look at the complete list yourself and make sure to never set foot in one of these safe spaces for, for pedophiles. But anyway, it lists all these churches that are the supporting ministries of that movement. What these people are doing is turning our country into a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what they're doing to our country. And they don't care. They don't care. If they cared, they'd do something to stop it, my friend. If they loved me, if they loved, they talk so much about love, they only love themselves. That's right. Because if they loved me, and if they loved you, and if they loved our children, you know what they'd do? They would try to stop our country from turning in to a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what they would do if they really loved us. They don't love us. Instead, they're just burning it all down. And you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna have to go build the city somewhere else. Just like in the story where Zimri burns it all down, we have to start our own churches. It should be that our generation would take over the churches from the past, you know, pastors would retire. We would take over the church. We'd already start with 200 people or whatever. We'd continue the soul winning, continue the program. These churches are so corrupt and they're so filled with perversion and wickedness and worldliness and sin. They're not even worth taking over. We ought to just go start our own churches. And not only that, but the people wouldn't even vote in real preachers anymore because they're so used to the smooth things and the watered down preaching. That's right. Because spiritually speaking, the baby boomer generation of preachers is just burning it all down. So what if my grandson's a eunuch? So what if my son's a eunuch? There's peace and truth in my days. That's the mentality. That's what's going on today. Otherwise, explain this, huh? Why don't you explain this crap to me? Huh? Why don't you explain to me why the leaders of the Fundamental Baptist Movement are supporting Born That Way Ministries and, oh, don't say sodomites, that's what, you, you offend me. You offend me with your queer loving doctrine. You offend me with your watered down compromise. You offend me when you bring the police chief and the mayor and the congressman across your pulpit and praise the wicked and then you criticize the law of God and make fun of it. They make fun of Leviticus 20:13. They make fun of the teachings of the Bible. They wouldn't touch Romans 1 with a 10-foot pole. They're scared of it because they love money. They love possessions. They love boats and RVs and guest homes and everything. You know what? I don't want any of it. I don't want a boat. I don't want a guest house. I don't want an RV. I don't want to own anything. I'll take off my coat and get rid of it. I don't even want it. I don't need anything. You know what I want? I want my children to love God. Amen. That's what I want. Amen. I don't want a building. I don't want a chandelier. I don't want a stained glass window. I don't want a steeple. I don't want to own anything. I want my children to love God. And I want them to be able to live in a country where they're not surrounded by filth like Lot, where they have to vex their righteous soul from day to day Amen. with sodomy. That's what I want. That's all I want. That's all I care about. 